Barry Dean, DetailJuice.com. You didn't see it because I just edited it out, but I totally just fell off the stool. So here you go. Hey guys, Gary Dean. <laughs> totally just fell off that stool. So I'm back with another video. Please forgive me for having all this crap on the floor of my garage. Been working on the base car. I'm actually competing again in sound pressure level and I'm working on the base car. So this video is for you people who have been asking me about the brand new spray situation for spraying Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat. So, um, most of you guys know that I had been using a um, Porter Cable Pancake Compressor. I think it was a six gallon deal. Um, anyway, it's a regular pancake compressor for like uh, a nail gun or whatever, um, uh, just a portable deal. It works awesome for air injection and for spraying Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat. I took that a step further because I couldn't get the atomization that I was looking for. That's the blend of the air and the, the liquid and how it lays down whenever you spray it. I couldn't get it right with the gun that I was using. So it's still great. That whole setup is awesome for air injection if you already have that great use it it totally works for spraying the coatings it's fine there's no need to go buy anything else unless you want the best of the best and all this is about is evolution of not only the products but also my processes and this is the evolution of that i found a better way of applying uh the the coatings by just spraying them so with that said i have the handy dandy little compressor here that is almost silent you barely hear this thing it is a uh, hundred percent duty cycle constant duty which means when you pull the trigger it's always there and gives you everything that you would need the only problem is it there looks to be a regulator on here and i agree you can tighten it, you can loosen it, but I haven't noticed that it does anything. This actually, it's kind of like a dummy regulator. Um, it doesn't add pressure or anything on mine. Maybe it's broken, but uh, it works properly, uh, seemingly anyway. But, um, so, got some moisture in there. A little moisture in that front, uh, in the filter. The cool part is it's got a built-in filter, which I could take off. Um, the cap to empty it. Yeah, it totally got. It's just water. But uh, there's the filter, the water filter, which is awesome. Uh, it's all built in. Uh, again, I have the regulator. This here, you pull the top up. See, up, and then you can you can tighten it you can loosen it you can do whatever you need to do that didn't sound good but it didn't break um so i got it on the max pressure i guess we're gonna fire it up in a second and then you press it down so on off switch uh it's quiet uh it's small relatively lightweight it's a much smaller footprint than even that pancake compressor a 25 foot hose and all of that um, it's a great unit works really well this is model number TC 320 um, this is I forgot the brand but I will get that for you I will actually uh, put it right here but this is uh, model TC 320 and uh, that's the compressor I also went ahead it comes with a six foot hose but I went ahead and ordered a 25 foot hose. So I've got 25 feet. It screws on to that front deal right there. And then, so there are kits that you can buy with all of this stuff together. I did not buy a kit. Um, I actually wanted the nicer gun. This, oh, it's Master Airbrush is the company. Um, this is model 
S622SET. And the cool part about this kit is it gives you a couple of different nozzles. I wanted some options to try out. And what I found works the best, and it comes with uh, this nozzle, but it is not the one that comes in it from the factory. You have to actually swap it out. The 0.3 millimeter is the one that you want in the gun, and it is perfect. It sprays out perfect. It's easy to level. It does not put out too much product. It doesn't waste product. It's awesome. Um, this is the little cup it comes with, and you'll notice there's no threads or anything on this. Quite literally, this thing just sits in there. So here's the gun. So in the front part of the gun right here, that goes in there and you kind of twist it in and it just sits there. This, th the total volume of this cup is a half of an ounce. So if you fill it all the way up with fluid, you should be able to get an average size, uh, average size car, glass, paint, trim, headlights, tail lights, fog lamps, chrome, wheels, all of it with a half of an ounce. I do it all the time. Now, when it comes to a Suburban, you're probably going to need a little bit more product, but uh, most vehicles that I've done, even my big uh, 2018 GM, or it's not a GMC, it's a 2018 Chevy Express 3500 extended van. It's 20 inches longer than the standard van. It's, a, it's like a small bus. Uh, it's a massive van. So anyway... I can do that size vehicle with one ounce of product. That's wheels, glass, all of it. Roof, all the panels, everything with one ounce of product. It does not take a lot. The most important thing when spraying on Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat is not the thickness of the material that you're putting on or even that you're leaving behind. It's that you get a even, complete application. You got to make sure every square inch it's applied to. You got to make sure that the new coating leveling towels are doing their jobs. That's the most important thing is a solid, even layer of protection over the whole vehicle that can cure. Now, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here. And I'm going to tell you that Super 7 is the seven year pro deal. Triple Trifecta Top Coat is the three-year consumer deal. They were designed to work together as one total unit if you so choose. Now, what I mean by that is when you get this sprayed on, when you spray on the Super 7, you got one hour to go back and spray a level of Triple Trifecta Top Coat on top of that, and then it will fuse together. It will cross-link into the clear coat and become one piece of material. Now, if you've already applied Super 7 and you would like to apply Triple Trifecta Top Coat, the biggest benefit there would be you go from 7 years to 10 years of protection. Um, you know, and that's all depends on how you maintain it, how you deal with it, and how much you care about your stuff, basically, uh, as far as the longevity goes. But um, one quick tip before I fire this thing up and show you it spraying is when you apply Super 7 you've got the one hour to apply triple trifecta top coat right on top of that if you're going to do the extreme package that I offer for 10 years. Um, if you have already applied Super 7 because Super 7 has been out for I want to say six or seven months now uh, it's doing really, really, really well. Everybody who uses it loves it. Ease of use is fantastic. The cost per application is fantastic. I mean, it just couldn't get any easier. In fact, you can apply the stuff in direct sunlight and it's not going to gum up too bad. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but not anything you can't handle if you're paying attention and you're actively pursuing getting it applied and making sure that it's all um, high spot free and all of that. You'll have no trouble uh, doing it outside if you had to. Now, it's always best practice to make sure that you're inside, but you could apply the stuff outside. It's not going to... Losing stuff off a table. 
Um, so it's not going to be a problem if you have to do it outside, which is the biggest benefit of this thing. Um, most of what I do is making sure that we can use these products outside in the sunlight because that's where most people have to detail. So um, if you've applied Super 7 prior to, well, I should say, if you've already applied Super 7, it's been over an, an hour since you've applied it. So that, and it, whatever's the situation, if you've applied Super 7, it's been a, over an hour since you've applied it, you must wipe the car down with the brand new tweaked version of Universal Clean and Prep. Now, since March 1st, 2021, we've been shipping this new version. We had to add a, basically a, how do I explain it? We had to add a chemical that would allow the triple trifecta top coat and the Super 7 to fuse together like it does when you apply one on top of each other within an hour. We had to do something for the triple trifecta top coat to be able to become one with the Super 7. And what we did was we added a chemical to the Universal Clean and Prep that will do that for you. So if Super 7 was applied and you want to apply triple trifecta top coat and Super 7 has been on there for over an hour, all you've got to do is wipe the whole car down with Universal Clean and Prep at one part product to seven parts water, wipe it all down, then go in and wipe on or spray on your triple trifecta top coat. You will have no problems with them fusing together and bonding and doing everything they're supposed to do. So the Super 7 was designed to be the best, like the best protective coating we've ever produced. And it by far, is the best in the way that it performs, not only in longevity, durability, the performance, slickness, gloss, it's awesome. Now, Triple Trifecta Top Coat was to kill two birds with one stone. It was designed to be a topper for Super 7, but also a standalone protective coating that will give most people all they're looking for is three years worth of protection and it will add more gloss more slickness and all of the other protective properties of super 7 it has in it it just doesn't last as long and it's not necessarily as strong so super 7 is a bit better protective product but triple trifecta top coat is insanely glossy it is slick the depth, the reflections, it's an amazing topper that adds features that Super 7 has, but it gives you more of that. So uh, if you love how Super 7 looks by itself, fine, stop there until you need to recoat. If you want to go a step farther, you can add Triple Trifecta Top Coat to the deal and get all of those sensory things that you're looking for, plus more added protection. Uh, so as far as this thing goes, uh, there's a few other parts in the deal and I don't bother with that. I've got the 0.3 millimeter nozzle in there. I've got my, um, got my cup. I'm going to go ahead and put something in here, probably water. All right, for, demonstrate, for demonstration purposes, I just put some water in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug in the compressor. All right, compressor's plugged in. You don't hear it, do you? It's because it's not on. Now listen to this, listen. That thing's on. It's as loud as it gets. It's awesome. So, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and take the end of the hose right here, and you literally just screw it onto the end. There's an O-ring in there that seals. Get it on there just finger tight. 
And then I'm going to take the other side of the hose and it, it screws into the bottom of the gun. Then you're going to take your, um, your cup, put it in, kind of twist it in. It kind of, what I don't love is that I have dropped this a couple times. It's fallen out a couple times. I don't love that. I recommend ordering a couple extra of these because it's glass and it's going to break eventually. Um, I wish it screwed in or something like that. It just does not. Um, but it works fantastic. And the atomization, like I mentioned, is perfect. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. It immediately builds pressure. It goes up to 60 PSI and it turns off. Now, I'm going to lift the regulator up and see if it's something that I didn't do correctly to see if um, the pressure changes. So, the pull it up. It's already all the way screwed down, which should give me the maximum pressure. Now, if I loosen it, I mean, it literally does nothing. Literally does nothing. So I will leave it tight. That way I know I'm getting all the juice. So uh, this is, I mean, it says push to lock, right positive, left negative, but either I got a defect, defective unit or it just runs at 60 PSI, which sounds good to me. Look at this. So, see what I mean? You have to watch that cup. That's the one and only thing I cannot stand about this. And so, I usually palm the cup just like this so it can't fall. Or, or you can put your pinky under it. Now, I mean, this stuff just atomizes so well. It leaves a very little bit on the surface. Just enough to give you solid quality uh, amounts of the product without wasting it. So it literally is putting on everything you need to level and leave it. This will also cut down on the amount of high spots that you have because you won't be over spraying and have to smooth out all of the dense population of the over spray. So your other gun that I recommended before from Harbor Freight, the $15 HPLV gun, um, that pancake compressor, the Flexzilla hose, all of that, it's awesome. Keep using it if, you, if that's what you use, but I would upgrade to this because this thing is fantastic. Um, my coatings are a lot less expensive than most people or most companies, but coatings are still pretty expensive. Uh, as far as, you know, the comparison between a, um, a sealant or whatever, but this stuff is just awesome. Um, I don't know. What else do I say about it? There's, there's no adjustment. There are some of you who keep asking me, how do you set it up? How do you adjust it? You buy the kit and you just put it together and use it. Again, it's, it is at 60 PSI. That's all that there is. There's no adjustment on mine. On, off, and then spray the juice. That's it. So you are absolutely, without question, going to be using less product with this. You are going to get a better, more even application um, that's it's gonna save you time, which is gonna save you money. So, out of all of you who keep asking me a hundred million times the same thing, how do you set up the new spray gun? Well, I wish I had some fantastic wizardry to show you, but it's really not complicated. That's it. Put the 0.3 millimeter nozzle in the gun, Put some product in the cup, turn it on, and spray. Um, obviously, when you're spraying Super 7 and Triple Trifecta Top Coat, they are solvent-based. Um, you're going to want to wear a respirator. I'm spraying water right now, so it's 
not a problem. So you're gonna wanna wear, wear a respirator, rubber gloves, if that's how you feel. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. I apply the stuff outside in the shade a lot. I don't wear a respirator. I just try to be downwind where it's not gonna hit me or anyone that's around. Um, they are pretty safe, but do what you gotta do to make sure you are safe and healthy. That's the most important thing here. But this thing is awesome and I highly recommend it. I Like I said, this cup is a half of an ounce and I can do a whole car all day long with a half of an ounce, no problem. Um, I sell triple trifecta top coat one ounce at a time. I sell super seven, uh, in some kits on detailjuice.com. If you're a pro detailer, um, you're going to have to call me or message me or whatever to get the pro detailer deal for the super seven. Uh, but you can buy triple trifecta top coat on the web website. Um, I do have some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, come going on for 2021. I got a pro detailer discount pro program. Uh, reach out to me if you want information on that. It's awesome. If you're a person who uses more product than normal, uh, you can really take advantage of some great prices on awesome products. So, uh, if you guys got questions for me, it's really not difficult. None of this is complicated. My, my biggest gripe about this whole system is how easy the cup comes out of here and you are going to drop it. So order a couple of extra ones, period. Uh, other than that, it's literally perfect. So let's ride, let's do it. Let's apply some coatings to the paint because that's what we do. Yeah, we do other things, but that's part of what we do. Uh, so anyway, awesome deal, amazon.com. I will leave a link in the description for a kit that I recommend. It's not necessarily this, all of the same, but I found a kit that's all of this without having to wonder what's happening. You order the kit, you're good to go, and that's what's down below. So leave a comment, leave me a thumbs up if you love the video. If I can help you in any way, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And if you need me, you know how to get me because my phone number is everywhere. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening to me babble. And uh, again, if you got questions for this setup, please let me know. I'm your man. Have a great day, guys.